Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to create our third custom object called statement. Now, what is the purpose of this statement object? Now, statement object will be used for our invoicing purpose. So basically, what we expect our renter to pay for the rental property plus whatever the additional fees that is incurred on the property. So for example, according to the rental agreement, if John has agreed on paying 2100 for an apartment unit, then this statement will be issued for John every month for 2100. But if there is a month where he needed some fixes around the apartment unit, like bulb was has to be fixed or something like that, then the statement will also include the additional amount the renter has to pay. So this is what the purpose of this statement object will be. Now we're going to add a couple fields to this object. The fields would be like the amount, the additional fees, the total amount. So if there is an additional fee the renter has to pay, so this total amount will be the sum of the amount plus the additional fees. Then the statement object will have a lookup relationship to the rental agreement. Then statement date, I mean when the statement was issued. So by default, it will be the today's date. Due date, a due date would be the issue date plus 15 days. So the renter has 15 days to pay the amount. Then the next one would be the status of the statement. So if the customer has already paid, then the status would be paid. If the statement has been just issued, it will be issued. If it is past due, then the status would be past due. But when we just create the statement, then automatically the status should be issued amount paid how much amount has been paid by the renter so that is what the amount paid would be it will be a roll-up summary on the amount on the payment object we have not created the payment object yet so we'll create the roll-up summary later so this is going to be the fields that we're going to add on to the statement object so let's go ahead and first create our statement object. So we'll go back to the developer account and uh, we'll go ahead and go to the objects here under build create click on the objects and hit the new custom object the label for the object we'll call it as statement Pl plural label would be statements it does not start with a vowel statement number let's say and it is also going to be a auto number st and then we'll call it as 000 starting number would be one optional features we'll select all of these leave it everything as it is allow search we do not need to create a separate tab for this statement object because see the statement object will be linked to the rental agreement right and the rental agreement will be linked to what rental unit so now what we have done is we have created our statement object next thing that we need to do is we need to add fields to our statement object 